Okay, so I finished all of season one on who were we running from. And I don't know if I feel sorry for this lady because she was saying basically that her mother never loved her. But she, it's like a poor rich girl situation. And she learned everything about taking care of her daughter from a crow. Because when she was young, she tried to help a baby crow. And the mother crow was hurting her. So that's how she says she learned how to take care of her young. Now, her mom was very cruel. And there is no excuse for her cruelty. But her daughter was basically a disappointment to, to the mom. So I can understand that the mom wanted better for this her daughter. So basically, she was in love with the help. And she was being a fast. She was being hot tail. But she still, in all of her years, never seen past her um what she did, what she contributed to her, I'm going to say, demise. But she, because she was trying to be, like, too grown. Now, I can understand you falling in love with somebody and not having the support of your family because that has happened before. But the way she went about, she could have just left, in my opinion i think she should i think she should have just left but instead she took her mom's life and she thought she took her dad's life and i'm just like this was kind of weird now it was they kept me glued i did the whole season in one night i was glued to the television because i wanted to see what's going to happen so i was up to we all was in the morning like five or six o'clock in the morning Finishing this season one. As far as I can see, there is no season two quite yet. So I don't I don't understand how what would happen in season two because she did perish in the first season, this lady did. But she was so angry with her family. And she probably should have went to boarding school. I'm not sure. I mean, she was a rich kid. Her mom was rich, wealthy. Her family was rich, wealthy. But it seems like they never did really have her back. And she was just um, so upset with them. Now, what she she told her uh, her daughter the story about Bambi and how Bambi was left in the woods it's like a childhood uh book and she told her child that book so much that her child memorized the book and she knew exactly what to do um and she turned out to be just like her mother what you call that stockholm syndrome when you uh have sympathy of whoever is capturing you i feel like her mother loved her which it was right to love her, but the way she went about loving her was wrong. She should have just left. She was a teenager having a kid. She should have just left the house, tried to escape. I mean, I understand her family had money or whatever, but the way she was doing people was just rude. Now, what happened to that doctor? I didn't understand why she was acting like the girl was sick because they never did say the girl was sick and why she was seeing the doctor and getting medication now i could understand unless they reversed the uh seasons because in one episode they did go to a place that was very cold so i was like i could see if she caught pneumonia after this scene she caught pneumonia after leaving cold weather but why would she catch pneumonia before that that was one scene that i was like confused about but that doctor that would try to uh, take advantage of her daughter, I could understand why she was upset about that. And I couldn't understand why the daughter just didn't go ahead and tell her mother what happened. Her mom figured it out anyways. 
But I don't understand why she didn't tell her mom what happened. And she stayed in the woods. Like, if you a scary child, why did you go stay in the woods all day? And then her mom knew that she was lying. So did her, did that, did her, I don't think that woman sent that man to, to do anything to her, to teach her to not, to be scared of people. Because sometimes, sometimes that happens. Your family would try to teach you a lesson and to prove themselves right, they'll kind of like set you up and be like, look, I told you so. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that the she did that to her daughter. That was a weird scene too. Like, why would he just think he could just do that to somebody's child? And um, what she did, that lady in the bank. Now, she was playing with the wrong one. Now, they already told you this lady has hurt several people. But you took it upon yourself to play in her face. That made no sense at all. She was already locked in from the security guard. And then you go in there with the money. And just because you put a hole in a bag, that did slow her down, but it didn't stop her from hurting you. So that was weird. I don't know. This was, it, it was, I, I'm going to say it was a good movie. Because it left you, it left you in suspense. I'm going to say it was a good movie because, like I said, I watched the whole season in one night. But anyway, the daughter is running loose now. And I just can't even, I'm going to, if season two comes out, I'm going to watch it because I can't even imagine what could her daughter possibly do alone because she was already kind of frail and green and you know, she wasn't used to the world. And the only story she knew about was the Bambi story. So how could she survive? That would be an interesting tale. Because she's going to meet so much demise. And things that come up in life. And she don't, she won't even have a mother to teach her or guide her or anything like that. So, but yeah. I'm pretty sure I told you too much already, but if you want to watch this series, you should because it's pretty interesting.